time. My name is Hannah and I am coming to you from the Boulder Public Library. Today we are going to do an all ages story time all about pirates. So get out your hook hands and your eye patches and get ready to go. We're going to start off today with our hello song, which is about how all the animals say hello. So sing along with me. When ducks get up in the morning, they always say good day. When ducks get up in the morning, they always say good day. They say quack, 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 quack. That is what they say. They say quack, 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 quack. That is what they say. When dogs get up in the morning, they always say good day. When dogs get up in the morning, they always say good day. What do dogs say? They say woof, 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 that is what they say. They say woof, 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 that is what they say. When cats get up in the morning, they always say good day. When cats get up in the morning, they always say good day. What do cats say? They say meow, 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 that is what they say. They say meow, 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 that is what they say. When pirates get up in the morning, they always say good day. When pirates get up in the morning, they always say good day. What do pirates say? I think they say, arg, 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 that is what they say. They say, arg, 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 that is what they say. All right, last one. When kids get up in the morning, they always say good day. When kids get up in the morning, they always say good day. What do kids say? What do you say? They say hi, 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 hi. That is what they say. They say hi, 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 hi. That is what they say. Hello. Hi, everyone. That's a great song to sing, not just in the morning, but all day long, any time of day. Sing it about your pets. Sing it about your parents. Sing it about things you see on your walks or in your house. I love that song. All right. Our first book today is called How I Became a Pirate. It is by Melinda Long and illustrated by David Shannon and read with permission from Houghton, Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. Pirates have green teeth when they have any teeth at all. I know about pirates because one day when I was down at the beach building a sandcastle and minding my own business, a pirate ship sailed into view. I knew what it was because its flag had a skull and crossbones on it and because I could hear the pirates singing, hey ho, blow the man down. They were a little off key. I tried to tell dad, but he was busy setting up the beach umbrella. I tried to tell mom, but she was busy slathering my baby sister with sunblock. So I went back to my sandcastle, but I kept an eye on the pirates. By then, they were rowing to shore. When they landed, the head pirate climbed out of the boat and yelled, Oi there, matey! Be this the Spanish main? No, I said. This is North Beach. Shiver me timbers, the pirate said. We must have taken a wrong turn at Bora Bora. He walked around my sandcastle. He looked at the moat, then yelled back to his crew, He's a digger, he is, and a good one to boot. A good one to boot, the others agreed. What be your name, matey? the head pirate asked. Jeremy Jacob, sir, I told him. Well, Jeremy Jacob, he said, you're looking at Braidbeard and his crew. We've been needing a digger like yourself. We've a chest of treasure to bury. I treasure, the others shouted. You shout it now. I treasure. You're coming with us, Braidbeard told me. I didn't think Mom and Dad would mind, as long as I got back in time for soccer practice the next day. That's how I became a pirate. As soon as we were on board, Braidbeard showed me the chest of gold and jewels. Got to find a safe place for this here treasure. It's high time we're off, he announced. We're off, we all shouted. Your turn. We're off. And then we set sail. There was plenty to do on board. The pirates taught me to sing sea shanties, the louder the better, and to say real pirate stuff like landlubber and scurvy dog. 
By dinner time, I can speak pirate perfectly. I also learned pirate manners. Braidbeard pounded his fist on the table and yelled, Down the hatch, me laddies! Down the hatch, we all shouted. Your turn. Down the hatch! Braidbeard gulped his food and said, Hand over the meat! The meat, we all roared. Your turn. The meat! Nobody told us to finish our spinach. There wasn't any. Or to chew up our carrots. They weren't allowed on board. We talked with our mouths full. And nobody said please or thank you. After dinner, I tried to teach the pirates to play soccer. Braidbeard picked the ball and yelled, Arg, soccer! Arg, soccer! The crew yelled. Your turn. Arg, soccer! Then everybody dove for the ball at once, and it rolled right off the deck. After it, me hearties, Braidbeard commanded. After it? We all whispered. We fought over who would go get the ball, but it didn't matter anyway because a shark came along and swallowed it in one gulp. So much for soccer. By now it was past my bedtime, but nobody tells pirates to go to bed, to take a bath, or to brush their teeth. Maybe that's why their teeth are green. Pirates sleep with one eye open, just in case, and they don't change into pajamas unless they want to. Pirates don't do anything they don't want to except for maybe swabbing the decks. I wanted to be a pirate forever. But then I found out what else they don't do. When I couldn't stay awake any longer, I asked Braidbeard to tuck me in and read me a story. Tuck you in, he bellowed. Pirates don't tuck. No tucking, the crew cried. Your turn. No tucking. And the only thing they had to read was a map. Don't you have any books? I asked. Braidbeard looked confused. Books? I didn't even bother to ask about a good night kiss. It wasn't easy to fall asleep without a story, but I was finally dozing off when a storm broke. Thunder boomed and lightning flashed. I tried to hide under the covers as waves slammed up against the ship, but I kept falling out of my hammock. I couldn't find anyone in the cabin. They were all on deck. Lower the sails, Braidbeard shouted. Batten down the hatches. Everybody ran around yelling and lowering and battening. Nobody had time to sit close and tell me it would be over soon. Nobody even noticed me. I decided that I didn't want to be a pirate after all. Just then, flash, crash, crack. Lightning hit the mast and split it right down the middle. What do we do now, yelled one of the pirates. We'll have to turn back, called another. But the treasure, hollered Braidbeard. Where will we bury the treasure? I stepped forward. Maybe I can help, I shouted over the wind. I think I know the perfect digging spot. When the storm was over, we rowed back to shore and buried the chest. We drew a map so we could find the treasure again, but I don't think I'll need it, says Jeremy Jacobs' backyard. After that, the pirates repaired the ship and got ready to set sail. Before they left, Braidbeard handed me a flag and said, You make a fine pirate, Jeremy Jacob. Guard that treasure well. We'll be back to get it soon enough. Soon enough, the crew repeated. Your turn. Soon enough. And if you ever need us, Braidbeard added, just run the Jolly Roger up yonder pole. Up yonder pole, the others shouted. Your turn. Up yonder pole! And maybe I will, but not today. I have soccer practice. The end. That was great. Thanks for singing along with me. We're going to sing a song now. This is a song about going out to sea. You might recognize the tune um, from Zoom, 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 We're Going to the Moon. But this one's about being a pirate and going out to sea. Goes like this. Wee, 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 we're going out to sea. Wee, 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 we're going out to sea. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my pirate ship. Wee, 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 we're going out to sea. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's do that one more time now that you know the words. Wee, 
wee, wee, we're going out to sea. Wee, 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 we're going out to sea. If you want to take a trip, climb on board my pirate ship. Wee, 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 we're going out to sea. Five, four, three, two, one. Arrgh! All right, great job, my pirates. Let's read one more book. This one is called Ned the Knitting Pirate. It is by Diana Murray and illustrated by Leslie Lamel and read with permission of Roaring Book Press. Listen to the legend of the crew that sailed the deep aboard a tattered pirate ship they call the Rusty Heap. The pirates were a ragged lot as fierce as they were strong. And as they swabbed the deck one day, they sang this pirate song. For pirates were pirates out sailing the sea, so scruffy and scrappy and happy are we. We're tougher than gristle and barnacle grit. We heave and we hoe and we swab and we knit. The whole crew turned and stared at Ned. The ship was deadly quiet. Yar, said Ned, I likes to knit. You might too if you try it. The captain stomped his wooden leg. I won't be hearing that. A scurvy pirate doesn't knit nor wear a fuzzy hat. They sailed on to an island where the crew began to dig. And when they found a treasure chest, they sang and danced a jig. For pirates were pirates out sailing the sea. We do what we likes and we likes to be free. We ain't scared of nothing, not one little bit. We heave and we hoe and we dig and we knit. The crew was all in stitches, but the captain's nerves were frayed. Yar, said Ned, I likes to knit. This hat be custom made. The captain shook his golden hook. I won't be hearing that. A scurvy pirate doesn't knit nor wear a fuzzy hat. The pirates brought the chests aboard and counted each doubloon, then cooked a batch of squid ink soup and sang another tune. Where pirates were pirates out sailing the sea, as scary and hairy as any could be. We're grouchy and slouchy, we don't ever quit. We slurp and we burp and we gulp and we knit. The captain got so mad, he turned as red as lobster stew. Yar, said Ned, I likes to knit, and that be what I do. The captain stomped and shook his hood. Hook, I'll not be having knitting talk. You'd best not knit another stitch, or down the plank you'll walk. So Ned went sadly to his bunk and stowed his hat away. He packed his needles, balls of yarn, and skull trim applique. He folded up his blanket with the Jolly Roger crest and stashed it with the knitted scarves, the mittens, and the rest. That night, Ned heard a mighty splash. A chill raced down his back. The captain yelled, all hands on deck, prepare for an attack. And just as Ned had feared, it was the briny ocean beast who loved to snack on pirate ships, his favorite floating feast. His tentacles were thick with slime, his eyes a ghastly yellow, and cannonballs bounced off his sides as if his skin were jello. The hungry beast ripped through the sail and gobbled down a chunk, while Ned raced back to quarters and dragged up his knitting trunk. The captain yelled, Avast! This be no time for knitting, Ned! But Ned rolled out the catapult. I've got a plan, he said. Ned's blanket soared into the air and landed with a slap. The beast was oh so cozy, he could not resist a nap. He yawned a great big yawn and swam back down into his den. Another hundred years would pass before he'd wake again. The pirates danced aboard the ship and sang, Yo ho, hooray! Three cheers for Ned the Knitting Pirate, hero of the day. And how the pirates fix the sail? Knit one, purl two, repeat. The pirates did it together till the new sail was complete. The crew aboard the rusty heap went on about their duties while wearing fuzzy hats and scarves and knitted pirate booties. But they were still a rugged lot, as fierce as they were strong. And every time they swabbed the deck, they sang this pirate song. We're pirates for pirates out sailing the sea. We do what we likes and we likes to be free. We're tougher than gristle and barnacle grit. We heave and we hoe and we swab and we knit. The end. Thank you all for singing pirate stories and songs with me today. I love pirate stories and songs. And I have one more song for us. 
This is our goodbye song, and it's to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It, but it is, of course, If You're a Pirate and You Know It. If you're a pirate and you know it, wave your hook. If you're a pirate and you know it, wave your hook. If you're a pirate and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a pirate and you know it, wave your hook. If you're a pirate and you know it, wink your eye patch. If you're a pirate and you know it, wink your eye patch. If you're a pirate and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a pirate and you know it, wink your eye patch. If you're a pirate and you know it, walk the plank. Arr! We say arr! If you're a pirate and you know it, walk the plank. Arr! If you're a pirate and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a pirate and you know it, walk the plank. Arr! If you're a pirate and you know it, say goodbye. Goodbye. If you're a pirate and you know it, say goodbye. Goodbye. If you're a pirate and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a pirate and you know it, wave goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. See you next time.